Hi guys. All right. So first of all, don't pay attention to these raccoon eyes. I just totally rubbed my eyes on accident. Yeah. I was going to take it off and take all my makeup, but I wanted to show you guys this foundation. I so love it. This is the foundation you saw in my, what I bought, what I got from yesterday. Love it. Like I said, I a hundred percent trust the sales lady. If I ever go in there and I'm looking for a certain thing, like with this, I was looking for a foundation. Um, and then that concealer, if she's not working, I'll go back anyways. So don't mind the eyes though, but I so love this foundation. It literally did not smear off at all. The only thing is, um, is, and it's not the foundation. I think I just need to go in with a concealer in certain spots right here. Like right here, you can see this, but totally concealed the pores. It's beautiful. It even kept my like, um, highlighter right here and my um, bronzer on all day which a lot of times the other foundations I noticed um, when it was wearing off the bronzer and highlighter would wear off too so excited for it totally worth the money anyways but you're not here for that you are here for this video that I'm so excited for well I have two exciting videos to film today but they're both not going up today this one will be going up Monday I'm going to um, upload this one Monday first thing in the morning while I'm filming my get ready with me because I'm using these in my get ready with me on Monday because I'm super excited to use them all of it um, and then the next one I'll either upload on Wednesday or Friday whatever day I don't have any content for you guys I have a few more things coming from Macari and then that's it and then I'm still waiting on my um, flash sale items from Ipsy and then um, today was the first day for that Ipsy Ultra um, personalization um, I'm not gonna get into that it was a mess for me and a few other people today but finally got in and got our picks and add-ons did miss out on a couple add-ons but that's okay it's gonna be such a great bag and I'm so excited to get that and share that with you guys as well however today is lip glam I absolutely love this subscription so if you're not familiar with this, um, Live Glam is by Morph Me, and it is a brush subscription. You can also do their palette subscription and their lippy subscription. Right now I'm just doing the brush one. This little bag is my rewards. I picked out a couple brushes for rewards, and then this bag is our brush set. So we're going to dig right into the, the rewards. Let's do the rewards first. I'm super excited for these two. So I'm going to show you these rewards, and then we will jump in with the brush sets which really excited for I need more of these type of brushes they came with a little extra this month and it also is seven brushes for the month of august isn't that freaking awesome or yeah august Let's see if I can get this all right so it says hey glamour your makeup kit just leveled up with an awesome free prize Redemption never felt so good. Log into your dashboard to find out how to earn even more free makeup at liveglam.com rewards. So it's a cute little card. Um, like I said, these were just reward points that I had. I didn't have to pay anything besides shipping, which was like three something. So pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and let my um, rewards build up. But you get rewards for staying active as long as they successfully bill you for that month you get a hundred rewards I think it's 600 rewards when you refer a friend and then I think it's 50 for each item that you review so right now I have 50 because I didn't use all of my rewards but I will have more once I review these brushes so you best bet by Monday after using these I will go ahead and review them to have rewards but I'm just thinking I'm gonna let them build up a little and then get a bunch of stuff at once all right, so this first one is the Ingle Liner Spoolie Brush. Spoolie Brush is the M158. So I got this for eyeliner to be put down here. Oh, I'm sorry. Ow, oh, eyeshadow down on my lash line. I think that's another reason why it was a little smeared. Um, I don't have the best brush for that, and I haven't been using actual eyeliner this like past week. I've been trying out like using eyeshadow down there, and I love that look, and I love doing it. But I don't have the best brush. So I will never use this side because I don't do my brows. If you guys know, I don't really have much brows. Um, but it is a great spoolie, spoolie. That's just awesome. I love that. So if I ever do end up doing my brows, I do have this. Um, it's super cute. Just tiny. It would be a good travel size to take with. But I got it for this end. 
So it's the angled and it's really thick right here. And I love the black and silver color. Um, that's what my other brushes look like. Um, and then I love this. It's orange. So I love that. That's a cool color. It's very nice and loose. So I love that. And it's got the angle so I can get precisely my shadow down there. So I'm excited to use this. We will definitely be using this on Monday. And the next one I am super excited for, although I am not really using these type of brushes at the very moment for my foundation, but I'm still going to try it out. This is the Morphe Y7 in their gold collection, and it is their foundation brush. I'm wanting to get their Y1, I think it is. Yes, their Y1. I have their Y2. Did I show that to you guys? And super soft, very, it's not super, super loose, it's like I feel like it's in the middle it's loose and it's firm so it would be good to pack on that foundation so super excited for this one um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in their little packagings actually that way they don't get ruined between now and Monday because we will not use these until my get ready with me on Monday um I don't remember if I showed you guys so I'm gonna show you real quick I ended up purchasing not through Morphe but I found the Y2 on um, no, I did not show you guys yesterday. Okay, well, I'll show you real fast because it's a Morphe brush. If it was just a, any other brush, I would just wait until my next, what I bought, what I got, or show it to you and then get ready with me. So let me grab it real quick. Um, I'm starting to get a nice little brush collection here, huh? Yeah. Um, anyways, so it's another part of their gold collection, and I found it on eBay. So let me find it here. Okay. So this one is the Y2. So we have the Y2. Um, it's like the, a blush brush. It's like flat right here. See that? Um, but I think it would be good to be used for bronzer as well. That's one reason why I got it. It's a little bit more loose than the Y7. The Y7. So I'm wanting the Y1. Um, I didn't have enough points to get this one in the Y1, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep accumulating those points, and then I will get the Y1, oops, sorry, which is a powder brush when I have enough points, which can be used for other things as well, obviously. All right, so now we are on to our brush sticks. I love this subscription, guys. I will leave you all the information down below. Please don't mind the dog. The husband's playing with him. He's such a baby. Well, he kind of is. He's like three. Like he's three. Yeah, he's still a baby. Um, anyways, I'll leave the information for you guys down below. And if you want to sign up, I have a referral link. It is $19.99 a month um, for all three of well, not all three of them. $19.99 a month if you do the brush description, $19.99 a month if you do the lippy, and $19.90 a month if you do the um, palette, their eyeshadow palette one. If I do any other one, it would be the lippy. I have gotten some lippies when they did their summer sizzling sell. $5 lippies. I got me two and then one for each of my daughters. Love those lippies. I was wearing them a lot at work. I have to wear a mask so no one ever saw it. So now I just wear them on my days off. But love them so i am thinking about maybe going ahead and ordering that subscription as well and you can always pause cancel skip that type of thing and i'm thinking that's what i'll probably do if i go ahead and sign up for the lippy is one month i'll pause lippy and do the brushes one month pause the brushes and do lippy so i'm not paying for both at the same time all right so let's dig in to these because i am so excited that they they all must be in here all right so it comes in a cute little card or comes in comes with a cute little card and this month is scoop there it is for august 2020 and then it says the sherbert you'll love these brushes did you hear the scoop our august brush collection is worth melting for it with six eye brushes and one face brush plus a bonus cosmetic pouch inside or, cosmetics pouch anything is popsicle <laughs> show us your tree tastic looks and don't forget to tag us on instagram for a chance to win our monthly giveaway stay glam xoxo live glam and then it's got every brush here and then it gives you the name and what it's for 
So the first one um, is not in the little pouch. So we'll go ahead and start with that one. It is the face brush. It is the R14 round contour brush. Let me see if I can get it out without breaking the packaging so I can put it back in there a little bit better. No, nope. okay, so we're just gonna break this packaging open a little, but I can still slide it back in to keep it safe and clean and everything while we're waiting to use it on Monday. It's got a little packaging over it too, so that's cool. All right, so it says, the Neapolitan ice cream of brushes. This perfectly domed round brush works wonders for diffusing and evenly applying contour, powder, and blush. So it's a super, super soft bristles. And then it's got a gold color here, very pretty, a metal gold. And then it's got their signature um, black right here. And then it's got the Morphe R14 on the bottom. And I love the white, and like I said, so soft, nice and, or not stiff, nice and loose. So yes, this would be perfect to even just pack on that shadow or the powder. Um, definitely for blush, I think. I haven't tried blush yet. That is something that I do feel like I need to dive in and start learning, but I haven't tried it. Even good, I think, for highlighter maybe. That might be good for a highlighter or even bronzer. Really with brushes, I've come to realize that just because they say they're for something doesn't mean you have to use it for that. You can go at it and use it for whatever you want. There's no rules to brushes or makeup, I have learned. Do what you feel is comfortable and what you like and what works for you. Because, you know, I've learned what works for me may not work for other people. Alright, so I'm going to put this protective piece back over the top like it came. Put it back in here, and we're going to save this for Monday. All right. Now we have the adorable pouch. And I'm assuming it has all the brushes in it. I have the picture right here. It says, all I want, six-piece brush, brush collection plus bag. And it's the Morphe. So super, super excited to have this pouch. This would be perfect for traveling, even though I know we all aren't traveling right now. Um, we are really trying and wanting to still take a vacation at the end of this month because school's starting again soon, so it would be perfect for that. All right, so that's really awesome. So it came like this with the brushes in it, and then that's the little pressure thing. That's the inside of the pouch, so it's definitely nice and big. It's a nice, like, very, um, I don't want to say velvet, but almost like velvet. Like red in liner. Perfect. Love this. Super excited for that. I'm going to put that little fresh thing back in. All right. I am so excited. Seven brushes. This is only my second month, and I'm so impressed with Ipsy. I mean, or not Ipsy. Wow. <laughs> I am impressed with Ipsy. I'm so impressed with Morphe. Seven brushes this month, plus a makeup pouch. Like, this is fantastic. And I needed, this is what I was the most excited about. I needed um, some more eyeshadow type brushes. I did trade one out. I don't remember. I don't remember which one it was. So I guess we'll have to go through the little card here because I did trade only one, the rest I did keep. Um, oh, it doesn't say. Do they not say what, the, oh, on the packaging, this one doesn't. So this must be the one I traded it out for. And it doesn't have it on here, I don't think. Um, I traded this one for the double-sided angle brush plus spool, spoolie because I got this one. So it was the same exact one, um, just a different color of um, the bristles. So that's why I traded it out because I already have that one. So I think this is the one that I traded it for and unfortunately I can't tell you what it is. It doesn't have it. That's weird. It doesn't have it on the brush that I can see and it doesn't have it on the packaging. That's why I think, no, not all of them do. Maybe not. Weird. They don't have them on the brushes or the packaging. How am I? Okay, well I gotta look at the pictures and try to figure this out. Yes, we'll do it that way. Um. This one looks like this is the M210. It's a small chisel brush. 
If you're in need of a detailing brush that fits perfectly in the hard to reach places, look no further. This brush is perfect for your lash line and cut crease work. So this actually might work well to do my um, shadow down there as well. It's a very stiff. It's like a yellowy color. And then it's got that pretty gold up here again, like bronzy gold, and then it's black. It doesn't have the numbers on them like they normally do. I don't know why that is. Super excited for this one. Especially because, like I said, I'm pretty sure this would actually be pretty, pretty good for putting that shadow on my lower lash line. I'll try to get these back in their sleeves off camera so we don't take forever with you guys because I also have another exciting video to do as well. All right, so our next one is the M432 Line Definer Brush, the cherry on top. This brush will give you that precise eyeline application to complete your glam. So here's another perfect one for my eyeliner. I don't do eyeliner on top, I just do it on my bottom lash line, but Again, another perfect one to use, um, especially when I get lazy and don't want to brush my brushes every day. I've been getting a little bit better at that. Um, so it looks the same again. It's got that pretty like gold tone up here, the black, and then it's flat and it's like a yellowish crystals. So this would be perfect as well. So. Got a couple um, different like eyeliner type brushes to try out. I think this is the one I traded and that might be why it's, yeah, this looks like this is the one I traded. Let me look. Yep, this is the one I traded for that um, double-sided angle spoolie, the one that I already have the same one, just a different color of bristles and that's why I traded it. So this one is the one they traded out, and this is the M322 Large Pointed Crease Brush. And it says it on here, so I'm not sure why all these others don't, but that's okay. So it looks just like the black and silver collection of theirs. And then that's what the bristles look like. It's very pointed, very, very loose. So I think this would be perfect for a crease look, for packing on the color on your eyelid or even over in the corner. So I'm excited to give this one a try as well. Um, the next one, man, I wish they had the numbers on them, but that's okay. Maybe they don't, I don't know, because my last month was my first month and um, I traded the entire collection because I was looking for certain brushes. So maybe that's why all of them had the numbers last month and these don't, maybe they don't have them on the brushes. You have it here. So maybe keep this card because you don't have it all right here. So maybe keep this card until you know, until you kind of get it memorized, you know, I don't know. All right. So this one looks to be the M433 Firm Blending Brush. This brush has the perfect amount of fullness and firmness to create seamless transitions between colors. And I need a really good one like this. So again, same look, same pretty gold, copper tone up there with the black, and then the same colored, of like a yellow bristle. Let's check out the, oh yeah, that's, that's good. That will work. Mama says yes to this. I definitely needed, I have a couple blending brushes, but I don't have any like this. So I really needed one like this, and that's, that's, that's good. Mama likes. All right. And the next one is the Tapered Crease Brush, the M411. Get a seamless blend in your crease with this tapered brush. So, again, looks like all the others. So it looks almost just like this one. Except this one's thicker, this one's smaller. See the difference? It looks just like it. So this one's a little bit smaller of um, bristles than the other one. It's the same consistency with being a little loose and firm. All right, and our last brush. The last one is the M213 Smudge Brush. The soft bristles on this brush are perfect for smoking out that lash line and diffusing color. I've never done this smoky look, but I wanted to learn and try. So a very itty bitty tiny one, same old, you know, gold tone, black, says morphine, all that. 
and then that's what the bristles look like. So very, very tiny, stiff, but a little loose. So, so a look at this, ladies. We got seven, seven eyeshadow, or sorry, six, one, two, three, four, six eyeshadow brushes, one face brush, a pouch, and then my two rewards. Fantastic, right? You, I got all this for $19.99. Amazing. You, you guys got to go sign up. You just got to. All right. So I'm going to end it there for you guys, but I am super stoked to try these out on Monday with you guys. So don't forget to make sure you're looking out for my get ready with me. That will be up Monday early afternoon for you all. And if you like this video and if you like brushes as much as I do, and if you like more for me or more fee even, um, give this video a thumbs up and please, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.